Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I will show you how to fix a stuck reed on the chromatic harmonica. And this harmonica is a Suzuki SCX48 in C uh, and it has uh, wood covers. These are the G48 wood covers that I have put on it. It fits perfect to this instrument as well. And this instrument is a really nice one, but I have a few stuck reeds here, so I would like to show you how you how I fix that in this video. And uh, yeah, if I play a bit on it, so I have no E flat, no E flat, G, A flat sounds really strange. B flat sounds muffled. B sounds a bit weak. But then C is back. No A. Alright, so it's the E flat in hole 1, then something on the A flat in hole 3, and the draw A in hole 7. And uh, yeah, you can, I mean, you can try different things. You can first try just to play the note softer. Nothing comes. Harder. Nothing comes. But the A flat is, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the note that should be an A flat here is, it's more like a quarter tone vibe. Uh, you can try to play soft and hard, but I often think it's better to just open up the instrument and see what's happening on the inside. So I take a screwdriver and I open here and I open here and I put the screws here on the side and then I take off the covers and uh, Oh yeah, here you can really see the A reed has a little paper clip underneath. This will this means that the reed will not play at all. The blow reed plays, but the draw reed does not. So remove that paper. Here is just a simple toothpick that you can use. You just carefully really take it away. Like that. Gone. And now. Yeah, now that A is back, no other damage made. And then the E flat, ah, uh, it had the same paper clip inside the reed. That E flat here. And those were easy to just peel off like that with a wooden toothpick. Nothing more advanced is needed really. And a toothpick can be really nice because it's really, I mean, it's really soft material, so it will not damage the reeds. And now it was just paper stuff that was stuck under the reeds. Uh, and if that is the case, then it's an simple, simple fix. But sometimes the valves can be like stuck or strange. The valves can look like this. You know that they're stuck inside a reed slot or something. Uh, then you just have to open up the valves. So it's not always the, a paper thing. I mean, but pretty often when a reed doesn't play at all, it's something that has gotten stuck between the reed and the reed slot. And then, I mean, the note A flat, A flat, or where the A flat should be in hole three below with the button sounded really funky. Uh, and the note B sounded thin. And the B is found in hole four draw, which is this note here. And here I cannot see anything strange, you know, this looks clean. Now it sounds better, hmm, anyway. But that one still sounds strange. So, we gotta open up and check the blow side of the reed plate. And I never take off the... I never lift the valves and try to sneak peek under the valves. I 
tend to damage them that way. So I always take off the screws and just open the whole harmonica. It's a lot easier to do that than to risk damage the valves, which is just annoying. Okay, we will not use this reed plate. You can see it looks very good. And no notes were stuck on that side. But then we take this plate here and have a look. And here I changed the valve a few wee days ago. But now I took this, you know, that the paper, what do you call this? I don't know, game, på svenska. I don't know what it's called in English. Uh, yeah, here you can see if the camera, I don't know if it focuses on that, but here is hair. I mean, a small pieces of hair that has gotten stuck. Whoops, now it disappeared, I think. There was something. Uh, I cannot find it. <laughs> and then I can see a bit here as well. A little bit, I think this may be, be mustache here <laughs> from me. Anyway, now that's gone. Whoops. And the reeds, they, do they play? Let's see. Can I plink with this one? No. A little bit, yeah. It sounds healthy. I mean, you can. This one is a bit hard to plink the reeds with. I use this tool more to plink. Good. Back in business, and no more hair. Small pieces of hair are allowed. And then I can just double check to put it in, and it was hole free with the button. So like this. Good, sounds healthy. So that was it, that was everything. Now it's, then you can always also just have a look inside the, the tone chambers here, if you can see stuff, sometimes you do. Now these were very clean, so I don't see anything there. But yeah, that's how you remove things between a reed and a reed slot. And it might feel a bit scary first, but uh, the more you do it, the better and more confident you will become at it. So now I will just put the harmonica back together. I'm putting back the harmonica like this, taking every screw. I don't put the same screw in the same hole, I think. I just swap them around. Good. Holds down. Touch one screw here. Finger tight. Finger tight. Finger tight, and now I can lift off the, and I can just put in every screw. And I mean, as I said in the beginning, it's not always a thing that has gotten stuck between the reed and the reed slot. It can be other things. The reed can be damaged, so it has a crack, then it's often like laying down into the reed slot like this permanently. I mean, the reed can be half gone, but that's not so common. Or the valve could be gone, or the valve could be pushed into the reed slots. I mean, it can be many different things. So this was an easy fix, this one, to just um, open up and remove two pieces of paper and one little piece of hair. And then I put in the screws, like this. And... Oh no, that one is, I have to tighten, use two screwdrivers there. I had to improvise a bit with the screws because I changed the, the well, they don't fit. Ah, yeah, <laughs> I have lost many screws on my kitchen floor last years. So I, I have like a very hybrid set of screws. I will take this one instead here and it should bite come on yes good just different set of screws here because i changed the cover plate so this is not the original screws good now it's in place and then i have to push a bit to this side but it feels good and then finger tight and finger tight all right let's see Good. 
the the notes are there. Nice E flat, A flat, B. Yeah, now everything works great again. Whoops, the camera has gone down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned some stuff from it. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.